I'm Chef Danielle Wexler with Tech Grills, and this is our infrared meatloaf pan. I love this pan because you've never tasted a juicier or more charboiled meatloaf than what you're going to get when you use this pan to make your meatloaf. It's also fantastic to keep the mess out of your kitchen and on your grill. There's three pieces to our infrared meatloaf pan. You have the meatloaf form itself, you have the spatula, and then the detachable handle. It's all made out of the same 304 stainless steel that our grills are made out of, and it comes in two sizes. We have a six inch size, which is right here, and this holds one and a half to two pounds of meat, while the eight inch size holds two and a half to three pounds of meat. When you're making your meatloaf, just use your favorite recipe. You can always check out our recipe on the Backyard blog as well. So here's the tips of how to make the meatloaf. You're gonna actually put your spatula right down on a cutting board and place the meatloaf form on top of the spatula. Then you're gonna very gently pack in the meat into the form, pressing it into the corners. There's no need to grease the inside of the pan if you use a meat blend with plenty of fat in the, the meat, such as an 80-20 blend. That's what I recommend, because that's gonna give you lots of flavor as well. You don't also need to go to the top of the pan either, because you wanna leave a little space for the meat to expand a little bit. Then you're gonna just take the detachable handle and slide it into the back of the pan, just like that. And then you're gonna place it on your preheated grill. You wanna preheat the grill for 10 minutes on low heat with the hood closed. So you're gonna place the meatloaf pan on the grates and remove the detachable handle. The meatloaf pan is designed for the spatula as well as the meatloaf form to stay on the grill while it's cooking. This is gonna allow the infrared heat to come up through the slots in the spatula and give you that really juicy charboiled flavor that will make your meatloaf delicious and tasty. If you like, you can brush the top of the meatloaf with some barbecue sauce or your favorite marinade about 10 minutes before you finish grilling for some extra flavor. As you can see, we've had one going on the grill for a little while. In the six inch pan, it's gonna take about an hour for the meatloaf to cook. You're looking for an internal temperature of 160 degrees. The eight inch is gonna take roughly about an hour and a half or so. Use a detachable handle to slide into the meatloaf spatula and lift it off the grill because the spatula is gonna be hot at this point. Then you're gonna set it back down on your cutting board, remove the handle, and let the meatloaf rest for about 10 minutes or so, just until it's cool enough for you to be able to touch and lift the form off. So it's been about 10 minutes since we pulled our meatloaf off the grill. And just when the meatloaf form is just cool to the touch, you can just go ahead and lift it right off and slice and serve your meatloaf. To get our delicious meatloaf recipe and also more how-tos and videos, please visit our backyard blog at techinfrared.com.